right, we have accomplished something in Fallout, and it's now it's time to continue accomplishing more. Sorry, I just recorded another video, my brain's a little <laughs> shattered. Anyways, my name's Ian, if you randomly clicked on the video, I'm playing Fallout for the first time. Welcome in, maybe consider subscribing, it really helps out a lot. Um, <clears throat> hopefully my voice holds up, I just recorded uh, a first recording of a game called Harvestella I've been wanting to play, uh, which required a lot of reading. Um, it was really fun, I like it. But we're gonna make some progress here. Okay, so, we've got a few goals today. One. Finish exploring the Brotherhood. Two. Um, go visit Harold, like you said, wizard, um, in the last comment. And also, Red Moon, thank you for the radiation hints, because that's very helpful to not spawn in and take the radiation damage. Uh, nextly, uh, figure out what we're gonna do next, I guess. But we're gonna talk to people right now. I'm not radiated. Do you do operations? Of course, it's very costly and time-consuming. Yeah, I'm not radiated. What are you talking about, game? Alright, um... So let's just see what's going on here. We still gotta talk to the leader here. Like in Peter Pan. Jerry, a young initiate. Hi there, you must be Brother Natalia, the new initiate from outside. My name is Jerry, I'm your new roommate. I'm an initiate too. I've been studying so hard. Are you on the initiate? Are you an initiate, knight, or scribe? I haven't decided. I'm still trying to decide. It's so tough. They're both really exciting. By the way, if you want to top bunk, just let me know. I don't mind. Are you alright? Maybe you need to see the doctor. Maybe you just need some sleep. Well, I better get back to studying. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're so friendly. It's nice to see a friendly person in this game. Okay, so can I rest here? Can I get clean water here? Because clean water was one of the ways you get rid of radiation, right? You wash your hands. Hi, Ian. Fairly normal shower stall. Are people going to be mad at me for taking this? Okay. Nothing. I do like the like military drums in the background here. All right. Um. You can't get there. All right. So, onwards. Like I said, um. Now that I'm kind of getting used to this, I do like this game. It does have a pretty damn steep learning curve. It's not obviously not easy for newbies, like Red Moon and Wizard both said. But it's locked. Okay. Um, you know we're figuring it out. Okay, locked. There's a lot of stuff we could steal if we wanted to. That guy's peeing back there. Alright, um... Ask questions if you don't understand, don't be shy. Let me talk to you then. I've got lots of questions, baby. Oh, he's running a class. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll go talk to the leader. There we go. I'm kind of running the gambit of games right now on the channel. Um, we're doing Devil May Cry, action RPG. We're doing Fallout, like point and click tactical strategy. We're doing Harvestella, life sim farming JRPG. It's kind of nice to have all the variation. Okay, um, let me save real quick. I don't want to walk into a room and someone gets mad at me for some reason and blast me. Hi. I shouldn't be talking to you, you know how it is. Everything is secure. Wait, can I go in here? Like, you guys seem like you're the bosses here. An instructor of Brotherhood Initiates. Greetings, I have not seen you here before. Are you lost? Maybe of service? Um, 
What is this place? This is the library. Here we keep records of all technical data, of weaponry and technology, and of course the history of the Brotherhood. I'd like to know more about the weapons you make here. You must speak to Vree, the head scribe, about that. I have more important things to do. Uh, like what? Like keeping the history of the Brotherhood. It seems some people here have forgotten just how important our history is. What was the formula again? It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? Yo, I like your shades. I know that you're the master scribe, but what does that mean? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. That means you know stuff. Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. What can I help you with? Um, I'd like to know more Speak about the weapons. The knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Okay. Go ahead. What about hollow discs? Use your Pip-Boy 2000 to read the discs. Insert the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Where can I the learn the computer has skills? Automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Um. Use this terminal to learn the basics of computer operations. Okay. The lesson finishes in six hours, you feel exhausted. Okay, what time is it? 8 a.m. <laughs> so it was 2 a.m. when I was walking around here before. What can I help you with? How can I prevent you radiation need some poisoning? Radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Okay. Thank you so much. You're great. I love you, Vri. You're my I new best friend. With? What's causing Between all the mutations? The biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. Uh, why do you all say that? All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay, that was very helpful. So we're looking for... Big Boss Man, whose name I've forgotten. But let's explore every floor as fully as possible before going to see Harold. Let me out. I opened the door, let me out! No, the door- I closed the door, I think. Okay. What's going on over here? Night Paul. Ah, you're the new initiate. Welcome aboard. What can I do for you? What are you? Who are you and what do you do here? I said, what are you? What are those? I'm Paul, head of energy weapon development. What kind of energy weapons? Laser, plasma, you name it, I built it, or at least rebuilt it. Any chance I can get one? You would have to see Michael to be issued a weapon. Can't authorize you one, though, that you would have to see Talus. Where can I find them? They're in the first floor. They're both in the first layer of the base. Talus is usually in the trauma room. Michael does his duty just inside the storage room. Can I ask you some more questions? Can I see a new laser pistol? This is the, Yes, this is the latest in handheld technology. Shows it to you. What kind of damage will it do? In the hands of a skilled warrior, it could cut a person in half. The beam will shear flesh faster than you can run your finger through sand. Can I keep this one? This one won't do you much good. It's still lacking the lens and amplifier. He takes the pistol back from him and puts it on the work table. If you really want one, go to talk to Talos or Michael. Okay, so. I could maybe get better weapons here, finally. On the first floor. You got anything to say over here? Ah, so you're the one. What? Nothing, it's just that no one has ever made it back from the Ancient Order. What? Then why did they send me down there? They just wanted to get rid of you. Well, the joke's on them. Yeah. Um, what, say, what do you do here? I fix stuff, run maintenance checks, that's what crap. 
What kind of stuff? Power armor and anything else. How can I get my hands on some power armor? I'd give you this power armor right here, but it's missing its systolic motivator. Where could I find one of those? They've got more than enough in the supply room, but Michael and his damn forms say that this particular suit isn't up to specs, damn bureaucrats. What do you mean, not up to specs? The eyepiece right here, I had to re-solder solder, solder it in, and it doesn't look as pretty as it needs to for inspection, I guess. So if I brought you a motivator, would you fix it? Whoa, wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple of hours. I'd loan you the manual on my tools, but you gotta repair it yourself. Well, besides Michael, how could I get one? Rhombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the Onid are supposed to wear these here power suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. Thanks a lot. An unnatural attachment. Okay, what's going on? Oops. Doors are really hard in this game. <laughs> there we go. Alright, what else is going on on this floor? Okay. I think that's because I keep clicking, like... Like, I, she's doing the action, and then I right-click to, like, do the next action. Nice to see ya. Hello. Okay. Nice to see ya. So these guys are just talk- they don't say anything. Are you lost? I don't know, the guy being named Rhombus is so good. I fucking love that shit. Who are you? Nice to see ya. Alright, I guess we're going down to the next floor. This might be another, like, set myself up episode, you know, like... Where... where... I quit. Where, um... Just getting ready for whatever the story brings our way next. Alright, around the bend we go. <clears throat> there can't be combat in every episode, no matter how much the you bloodmongers in the comments want it. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Those are some shiny suits right there. Save. There's a church and everything. Look it up, keep or look it good, keep up the good work. Uh, hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jaw. This is self-aware. <laughs> Guy like me, huh? Okay. Um, do you have any? Idea about the caravans? About the missing caravans, we sent out a few scouts east and north. The ones that went north never returned. One came back from the east. He talked about a score of strange beings, all muscle with burning eyes. The elders aren't doing squat, but I'm getting ready just the same. I think I've run into you them. You understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside. Like you. Um, I'll scout the area out to the north. Good. Anything else you need to ask? Can I get some better weapons? Then I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Okay. I would like a laser pistol. Okay. Thank you. It was that easy. We got a laser pistol. Look at that. Laser pistol acquired. That's the whole episode. It's done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I guess we'll call it there. So I have been up up upcording, uploading these daily right now. And I'm going to try to keep that going. I'm a day ahead. So like all the comments, you, peep, uh, wizard and blood moon or red moon you've been leaving. I've, uh, it's, you know, the next episode's already recorded. Rhombus is my idol. I also like Rambai. 
stay sharp initiate. Um, but uh, with Harvestella as well, and I don't know if I'll have time to record both of them in the morning. Um, so there might be some alternating days, but I think that'll keep me like excited for each of them. Greetings, I need to speak with you. I'm closer. About what? There's an urgent matter. I need you to help me with this, Maxon. We are pretty sure he's gone off the deep end. Keeps babbling about an army massing to the north. I'm willing to send our troops there, unless uh, I have absolute proof. Um, are you willing to check the northern region? I already said I'd do it. Go talk to Max, and if you haven't already, report back and tell me what the, about the northern territory. Bro, we know he's like telling the truth. He seems stressed lately. Good day. Good day. All right, let me save. A full report. Okay, so. I guess it's time to. Well, we'll double check the first floor again because we haven't fully explored there. But then it'll be time to. Um, to go visit Harold. Harold and the laser pistol sounds like. Like, uh, an episode of a kid's show or something. Take me back up to floor one. Apologies if this bottle crinkles a little bit. Atlanta is still under a boil order, so, you know, we've had a lot of chaos happening here. Okay, so there's... Michael, or whatever his name is. Where's the trauma center? Is this the trauma center? Hello. Hey, no initiates. Alright, I'm gonna leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> they did not like that. That's the bathroom. I thought they said the trauma center was on the first floor. That's training room. Stay sharp. With the room with guards make me scared. Like I shouldn't go in there. Alright, let's go see Harold. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've been in the outside. Okay. There we go. Ground floor. I bet you could get some crazy loot if you tried to storm this place. <laughs> okay, save. Now. Where is my laser pistol? Um, and it takes power cells, okay. So, unless I'm using, like, big guns, I'm assuming this is going to be my primary weapon for a while. Alright, so we're going back to the hub. And Harold is in Old Town, which is where, like, the Thieves Guild and the weapon guy was, where they wouldn't let me in. <clears throat> and then I guess the next step after this might be... Cause I don't think I can I can solve fights downtown. Oh, I haven't been to Old Town. I went west. I see. Um, I I haven't uh uh solved the caravan problem, but that's a that seems like a death, whatever they call it, and it also seems like my death. Come on, <laughs> start moving. Okay, so I didn't even know this was here because I'm unobservant. 
Okay, loading only. What's this place? Let's just start going building the building. Wooden doorway. Anything in here? There is a guy in here. Hello. This is my home. Leave. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. Okay. How about here? Is there a door into this building? There is indeed. Oh God. Why am I being attacked? Are these just people's houses and so they're mad when I walk in? I don't want to piss off the whole town. Alright, we're reloading that. I, I walked in, he said like, have you ever danced in the pale moonlight? And then he shot me. Um, I just got an update. The Witcher The Edge of the World officially announced. So there's a new Witcher book or game. I know he was working on a new book. I don't know about... Uh, and, and I knew the game was coming up, but that's cool. Alright, let's save here. Oh wait, what time is it? Did I walk in their house at night and that's why they're mad? Okay, it's it's 6 a.m. I can't rest here though. Okay. Is, is, is Old Town technically dangerous? Is that what, what that's what's happening here? Alright, let's just check out each building. High prices, but really good guns. Okay. I've got great merchandise. Tell me about yourself. Well, I've been around. Used to be with the Union of Atomic Workers. Sort of like the Brotherhood, but less friendly. They wanted to keep themselves, and I wanted to see the world. Be my own boss, so I left. Um. Tell me what you got. High-end arms, the best stuff. Uh. Sniper rifle. You'd be hard-pressed to find a flamethrower feel anywhere else in the waist. A Geiger counter, very rare. I've got a Geiger counter. Ah, the DKS is a fine long range weapon. It was originally 300, but we rechambered it to a more common point two two three. Most important, smooth, huh? The barrel breaks hunting any type of animal. Can we make a deal? Okay, explosive rocket. I do have hunting rifles already. Gr pulse grenades, rocket launcher. So if I need to kill like Harry, leather armor, combat armor. Oh, I could have got combat armor from the person too. Sniper rifle. So how much is this? Two thousand. So this stuff is expensive, but I can't afford it. Five millimeter, two twenty three, fourteen. Sir, do you have ten? Energy cells, shotgun shells, pistol. Why does nobody have 10 millimeter ammo? Oh, there we go. How much would it cost to buy all of this? 592. Not a problem, buddy. We're buying this. So, I'm going to sell you. This plus three hundred would be five hundred and seventy eight. So three hundred plus ten would be eighty eight. Three hundred. I'm trying to do math in my head. And fifteen. Oh, I was off by one. I'm bad at math. Don't judge me too bad. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Um, now. Uh, let me give you some stuff, my friend.
Um, yeah, you can have these. And I would also like for you... Oops. Hold on to that. And that. And do you have any money on you? You've got so much stuff. Alright. Ian's ready for combat. Alright, we're looking for Harold. Not Harry. Harry sucks in this game. What can I do for you? Who are you? The name's Vance. That's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? How should I know if you don't tell me what you're selling? What do you have to sell? You seem okay. Here's what I got. Be polite to them. Okay, he's got Radaway. Mentats. Super Stimpak. Leather Jacket. Alright, I don't need any of this now, but we're cool, which is good. Sorry. I, uh, people, you walk in here and people are like, ready to shoot. Okay, what's this big building? Where's my pillow? The Brahm sure does stink this time of year. This is my home, you leave. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just visiting. <laughs> okay, we've been in there. We went in that building and they started blasting. What about this building? Where's my blankie? That's me, I need my blankie. Pretty stuff. Pretty stuff, why is the moon? Beth told me to talk to you about Deathclaw. Beth, Beth, shoo sha Beth, like Harold. You talk Harold, Harold tell you the story. Slappy help then. Okay, I'll talk to Harold first. Okay, where is Harold though? <laughs> Give me the sugar, baby. Hi. Spare change, old oh. friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> uh, yeah. Here's twenty-five for you. Kind of your friend. Fruit fly, get out of my kind. face. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Okay, Harold, what happened to you? Why is that? <laughs> Rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. What happened to you? Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Long time. Tell me more. This is lore. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. What did you do then? You know, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people, though. <laughs> How? Uh, gangers got him. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <laughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Didn't the guards help? Of course they helped, you bonehead. Just too damn many to handle. He's like, you dumb idiot. How did you survive? Got killed. <laughs> <laughs> He's undead. <Love> <laughs> joke. <laughs> we mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard, Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. And what was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost Okay, a lot of so this is what he's talking there. about? 
How did you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other. Good movie. You remember that movie from back before the Great War? Factory. Did you we examine the base closely? Inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, and me, and a couple of others. And then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. What happened to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Is Gray the main villain? Like, he got obsessed with making mutants after seeing this or something? I never looked. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What happened? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. How did you survive? Didn't Got killed. <laughs> oh, we're back to the joke. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> yeah, well, I can I tell. Had no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How did you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. Could it have been radiation? How the hell, should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Thank well, you for the story. Thanks for letting me tell it. Alright, Harold. You were worth coming to see just for lore. Now. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything I'll be I nice. Can do for you? Tell me about the Death Claw. That thing. Friend. That is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? I'm gonna kill okay. it. Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Okay. Any well, weaknesses? From what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the Okay, eyes. so we can maybe blind it if we aim for the eyes. There. What kind of problems? You can't look at them. It is said the death Sorry, there's a really loud just truck by moving by? What is that? Then it walks up and moves. Oh, it's like a US yeah. foods truck parked up front of my building. Okay, a hip they can hypnotize you. Good luck to you. You're gonna need it. Could be. I mean, that's an endgame enemy, so we're not going to try and fight that thing at the moment. But maybe. Are there multiple death claws, or is there just one in the game? Now, sir, you had more information? I talk with Harold. The death clown sounds pretty nasty. What can you tell me about it? Death claw, death claw, dado, death claw. What is it? Ubladi, hobada, death claw. Oblada, life goes on. What do you know about the death claw? It's really scary. It looks neat, though. Want to see it? You can take me to the death claw? Hell no. I don't, want, I don't want you to take me there right now, man. Okay. What do you do around here? Do I do, then you do, then we all do. Not really. What do you do? I do... This, then I do that. You see Harold, Harold's fun. His hair falls out, falls in the wind. There it goes. Wind, wind. Okay. So we're safe here. Now. I think it's time for a little test of the laser pistol. That might be a good way. We've got, I mean, it's only a half. We've only been recording for a half hour. But we'll give ourselves just a test. And then if, if it goes... Well, maybe we'll try and take out Harry for the XP. Alright, so we'll go up this way. I think what I'm gonna do is go back... Um... To... Uh... <clears throat> to Necropolis and fight those... Uh, ones I hadn't fought before at the beginning. Um... But, my other question is, and feel free to just like, point me in the right direction or tell me if I'm right or wrong. 
um, the caravan quest, to do that, do I have to, like, take a job with the caravans? Um, and then, like, I'll see it? Is that how I encounter Deathclaw randomly, maybe? Like, that's super bad luck? Or is, like, is it the same as Deathclaw, you know? Like, is it just suicide to try and do that right now? Alright, let's get over there. Oh, an encounter? Rats. Alright, I don't need my pistol for you guys. Take that. Oh! <laughs> Here they come. Ian didn't even get the aggro last time. I was like, please don't use burst mode, buddy. I really like having that extra bit of movement early on. I can't believe I'm not in range. Okay, move back. Ian will really speed this up. Oh, missed on that one. There's so many. Holy crap, man. They were not kidding when they said a large group of rats. Okay. You're done. You're cooked. I don't know if this is actually worth it because it's like very, very little XP, but... Any XP adds up. You die? Holy crap. It's rat god. Alright. I'll come over here. We're gonna get this guy beat up, Ian. Alright, victory is ours. Um, 300 XP. So what's that put me at? 3,200. That's not too bad for a really easy fight. The biggest problem with that one is that it wastes ammo. Alright. Um. Rest until morning, because we're right on the outside of where we want to be. And then... Just in case I need it, put the shotgun on. And let's let's test this out. Like, how do we fare against super mutants now? There are still a few here, right? Yes, I and I actually baited them down here. Okay, wait. Sneak. Switch guns. They're not injured, though. Oh, wait! I didn't realize I was walking! I was only hit for one point. Two points. Six points. I'm surrounded! Okay, they're doing much less damage. That one did hit me for nine. How are you looking, buddy? Pretty severely wounded. Are there other modes for this? Why does this do... Okay, seven damage that time. 
Bro, still alive? Okay, so super mutants are obviously very tanky. But I thought the laser gun would do way more damage. I ha I'm, I'm low level with it. Is that what it is? Alright, we got him. She di he did knock me off my feet. I'm not looking great. Oh my god. I <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Okay, reload. He looks unhurt. He looks wounded. So aim for this guy back here. 12 points of damage. Alright, and then... Use their AP up. What? Oh, I have to tell him to use his best ammo. Alright, um, this might be a reload, but this is winnable now. Wounded. Like, we could run off the map, you know? Shank him. Okay. Ian, you are standing exactly where I would like to shoot. I'm gonna move around so I don't shoot you, hopefully. 11 points. How are you looking? Almost dead. And I'm gonna retreat a little bit. He's smiling over there. He's smiling through the pain. Okay, move over here. It takes five points to shoot. What about if I use this one? 15. So I really want to put points in laser weapons, I think, right? Because those are probably the best. And we need one, two, three, four, five. So we can spend two more to get a little closer. All right, he's dead. Now the question is, can I survive this guy? I don't think you have any damage on you. You're unhurt. <laughs> Now run to Ian. If I talk to him and tell him to use his best weapons, he might be able to save me. I can't do it in combat, I see. So we just gotta light this guy up. Now, what about if we aim for the eyes? You missed. I was really hoping I could blind them and that I wouldn't take as much damage. Good job, Ian. Seven points. Keep running. I thought I was dead. Not quite. Nineteen points striking a vital spot. How's he looking? Severely wounded. I am also severely wounded, though. Ah, oh, okay, he got me. Okay, we can win this, though. Like, the armor class and... All that.
doing a bang up job. All right. This is my goal for the rest of this. Let's take those guys out. We also have a grenade, and they are standing in the group, so that could help. But so, getting my laser, will that increase the damage when I level up laser weapons, or will that just increase my accuracy chance? I do have... I think I actually want the shotgun equipped right now, though, right? Okay, save. Then... Just kinda creep up over here. We're still too far away. Only 8% chance? 26% chance? 30? 34? We can get pretty close to them. Nice. Alright, and then retreat. Oh, I forgot to tell him to use his best weapons. Holy crap. Never mind, we're just getting really bad rolls here. Wounded. Wounded. It costs four to throw. Two, three. So we can move three squares away, and then throw a grenade again. They are! They killed Ian! Oh my god! It went so wrong! Draw your best weapons, buddy. This seems like it should be winnable. We get to like here. I guess we could kill some and then run off the map and come back too. Oh, they saw me. Okay, I hit that guy. I also hit myself. Alright, Ian, unload rain hell down upon our enemies. Okay. And then retreat. <laughs> it, it, they're, they're all aiming for me. I guess that's better than them aiming for, for Ian, but... Wounded. Wounded. Like, those severely wounded. Aim for this guy. Six points. 11 points. <laughs> My god. Last time, were they just rolling really bad last time? Your bones are scraped. Okay. Um They are really tough. All right, well Maybe we need a few more levels and laser pistols or something? Uh, I'm gonna save here. We- we've got ourselves oriented.
next time I guess we go look for the base to the north to help out the Brotherhood, maybe figure out a way to kill these guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, let me know, does putting more points into energy weapons increase the amount of base damage I hit? What is AG? 10% plus 35% plus. But having this will probably, like, we probably want to start leveling this up pretty uh, dramatically so we do more damage, I'm guessing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Having a good time. Uh, I like the lore in this one. I like having some more talking and less, like, panic running. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs>